How many times a day should you pin on Pinterest? How many pins should you post to Pinterest per day? Some of the top questions about Pinterest marketing have to do with how often you should pin to Pinterest. And in this video, I'm gonna answer your questions, but be sure to give this video a quick thumbs up if you love Pinterest marketing tips. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I've got free weekly Pinterest training coming your way. So back to that question of how often you should pin to Pinterest. First, let's go over the best practice guidelines to help you decide how often you should pin. Let's think about this as the minimum amount of pins you should be posting and the maximum. The amount that you should be personally posting to your Pinterest profile depends on a few factors, but I'll just lay out the guidelines for you first. So the minimum amount of pins you should post every week is three to five pins. I'm taking this number from an interview that a Pinterest representative had with Tailwind. In it, she shared that ideally you should be posting three to five times per week on Pinterest. That is our minimum. So what is the maximum? If you're using Tailwind, you'll get this warning. They say that the best accounts do not pin more than 25 times a day. I do not suggest that you pin anywhere close to 25 pins per day. This is very akin to how Pinterest strategies used to be when people were repinning a lot. But repinning and resharing the same image over and over is a very dangerous practice that can get you blocked on Pinterest. You can, of course, pin too many times a day. You do not want to hit the Pinterest pin limit of the day, which can make your profile be flagged as spam. You might experience something to being shadow banned or even worse, having your account deactivated. That's just some of the things you don't want to do on Pinterest. I've got a whole video on it. You definitely want to check out. So what's the right number for you? How often should you be pinning on Pinterest? You definitely wanna find a number in between our minimum and our maximum that is doable for you. Something that you can consistently manage. So I suggest that you start with at least one to two fresh pins per day. So what's a fresh pin? A fresh pin is a brand new pin that has never been uploaded or shared on Pinterest before. It's a template or a design or even a certain image that you've never shared. So yes, you can update older pins with new images, change the color of the text and the words to make it fresh. That counts as well. Your freshest content is gonna be linking to brand new posts, product or page that you just published on your site. So that'll be the freshest content, but any new image or video, if we're talking video pins will do. So I suggest you start with one or two if you're a new blogger to not burn out and ensure that you're creating those fresh pins. You can then start doing three to four if that's more comfortable for you. So personally right now I'm pinning anywhere from five to six fresh pins per day. Those are new pins that have never been added to Pinterest before. You might be wondering, okay, what about repins and reshares? Should I be sharing other people's content? Here's the thing. You wanna prioritize your own content. Pinterest right now is all about promoting you as the content creator. So make sure that anywhere from 80 to 95% of the pins that you're sharing on your profile are your own images. You don't want to be sharing too much of other people's content. But of course, if you're in a Tailwind community, you should be doing your reshares. Just make sure that the bulk of the pins are your own. So if you're sharing five fresh pins a day, four of those pins can be your pins and one can be a reshare or a repin. See how that works? So you wanna always prioritize your own content. So let's talk about resharing your own pins. So if you just added a fresh pin to Pinterest, do not share it again to another board for at least seven days. Seven days is safe. Two days is the absolute minimum, but I would never repin the same image for less than seven days. 
So let's talk a bit about the makeup of those fresh pins that you'll be adding to Pinterest. So whether you're gonna be doing the minimum of three to four a week or going all the way up, I would say the real maximum is 10 pins a day. You wanna make sure that you're sharing a variety of links. So don't just create four or five pins to the same URL and share that within the same day. You wanna make sure you're spacing that content out. So if you're sharing five fresh pins, they should be to five different links and also to different boards. But the different links is the most important part. They should also ensure that you have a variety of pin templates. So don't make all your pins look exactly the same. Use a variety of styles. Change it up. I've actually have a whole course about designing Pinterest pins. You can check it out in the link below if that's something you need help with. I also encourage you to create a variety of types of pins. So on Pinterest, you can design standard image pins, which are going to get you the most clicks. You can also design video pins, which are engaging and people love to view them and save them. And of course, you can also design idea pins. Idea pins are going to get you the most engagement on your profile, and that is so important. Idea pins are getting promoted within the home feed. They're also being showed more than any other style of pin. The algorithm favors them. So start creating idea pins. But here's the thing. You can't click on idea pins. So you want to make sure that if you're designing idea pins, that you're also designing standard image pins. Tailwind did a study that found that Idea pins get 41 times more repins than standard image pins. But if you have a profile that has less than 10,000 followers, video pins are going to perform well for you. And I've seen this on the accounts that I manage. I don't have very good luck with video pins anymore, but I've got over 60,000 followers. But accounts that have less, they have engagement with video pins. So say you decide, okay, I'm going to design three pins a day. I encourage you to design one idea pin, one video pin, and one standard image pin if you have less than 10,000 followers. If you have more than 10,000 followers, focus on creating those standard image pins and one idea pin as well. So you might be wondering, how many idea pins a day am I supposed to be sharing? So Pinterest best community standards for creators is that you create at least one idea pin per month to stay relevant. So whether that's the one you do for the month, I encourage you to do more or one per week or one per day. If you're going to be ambitious, that's going to be the best use of your time and it's going to get you the most engagement. So let's do a quick recap of how often you should be pinning. I encourage you to instead of just trying to pin like I'm pinning or how some other content creator is pinning, focus on how often you can pin consistently. And the answer to that is going to be determined by how much content you have, how many pin templates you use, how many pins you design, and also what are your best times and days of the week. So don't just pin at any time. I got a whole video that shares how to find the best time and days of the week to pin. So for example, my worst days are Friday and Saturday. So I'm not going to be sharing five pins on those days, maybe two or three. But on my best days of the week, which say, for example, are Monday and Thursday, I'm going to be sharing five fresh pins a day. So I hope this video is helpful for you and that you can better decide how often you should be pinning on Pinterest. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if it's going to help you with your Pinterest strategy. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am so happy to be your Pinterest coach. And be sure to stick around and check out this video. It's going to be very helpful to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.